Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jack and Daxter HD Collection Let's Play. In the last episode, we finished off the Lava Tube and now we're finally here at Golemaya Citadel, ready to take the fight right to them. So, uh... It's about time you two decided to show up! Nice to see you, too! Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Daxter! Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the Dark Eagle silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. All right, now, now as you guys can see, there's a giant precursor robot in the middle of this area. And uh, all the sages are trapped here. So we're gonna have to free one one by one individually. So uh, we're gonna have to go around each one of these obstacle courses. And I really like this area for the main fact being that it's really colorful. Um, and they got these puzzles like this, where you have to jump on each pad and it lowers another one. It's really cool. Um, a lot of genius, what the hell? Okay, I just had a ra random spasm. I don't know what happened there, but uh, um, yeah, like I was saying, there's a lot of colors, a lot of puzzles, and a lot of things we didn't get to see in the, the other parts of this game that come out here. I don't know if it was just all the great ideas put into this one piece, but uh, right here we're gonna see um, a, bu a bunch of multiple paths leading to other sages. So each path leads to a, no a new sage, but you won't be able to get to the green sage, Samos. Won't be able to get to him right now. You're gonna have to free the other three, and we haven't seen them the entire game. So this is where you finally get to see who these legendary sages are. Right there, you're not gonna be able to get these precursor orbs. You're gonna have to um, free a sage before you can get those. But make sure you don't miss any. Right there, you can see a, a sage in the distance. So uh, let's head through here. I believe this is the blue sage's path, and. Uh, Let's get these orbs. Try not to step on the same pad that has a precursor orb. You know what? Let's just reach to the end. Uh, just hit the switch when you reach the end, and you can actually bring it back up, get the precursor orbs, and get the hell out of there. Uh, but uh, here we go. Nice, nice. And here we go. Um, now, this is actually a lot of platforming, and a lot of them have an endless dungeon at the bottom of the area. And uh, we're going to see exactly why they needed the precursor orbs, the uh, power cells, the precursor robot artifact parts, exactly what they were intending to do and uh, what's going to happen in a minute, but uh, here we go. A lot of traps. Look at this. I don't know why they have this mechanism set up. It's not doing anything. It's just really weird. Um, it kind of seems like the precursor set this place up. I'm not sure. But let's jump to this and uh, no, 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 what the hell? Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, uh, don't mess up. Yes. Now, for some reason, I always like looking at these pads. The way they just levitate out of nowhere. It's really new, fresh. Uh, here we go. Almost done here. Now you have all these precursor orbs, but there's nothing to do with them at this point in the game. I'm telling you guys. Uh, there's nothing to spend it on. I'm not sure if there's something I'm missing. I, I know I got this game 100% many times, but... Please enlighten me. And uh, right, right here, which one is rush across these entire platforms to get to that blue eco event? Right here, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Yes! Yes! I did it! I did it! Okay, what you wanna do is go here, hit this lamp, and then the blue sage will talk to you. Here we go, guys. I can't believe I did that. Oh, man. Good work, fellas! Old Samus was right about you! Great piles of precursor metal! That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc! I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below! Uh, yeah, you do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. Weird up! Okay, now. After freeing him, he's gonna do a Kamehameha attack on the uh, the force field that's blocking him. And I really like this part because of that. And you can't jump into it and power up or anything, but you can take the blue eco and come down here, and it'll activate a permanent path backward, back um, up. So if you ever need to go back up there for recursive orbs or power cell reasons, there you go. Now uh, let's head down this path. I believe this is the yellow sage's path, and uh, this one is pretty cool. It's really hectic. Uh, let's see what we got. Um. 
I like these hallways. Very cool, very colorful. Now this, I really like this area for this reason. This reason why uh, a lot of precursor herbs. I love precursor herbs, even though they're useless right now. But uh, you're gonna have to jump across each one of these pads using the Bleco power, really maximizing the effect of this. And uh, you don't want to miss any of these precursor herbs. It's really easy to miss them if you run out of blue eco. But there are blue eco um like spawns around this area but they're very little and it's gonna take a bit longer so try not to miss any and keep yourself powered up and i'm just gonna keep jumping to keep it moving because uh these things these pads move really slow and i if just in case i can reach another pad and come back that would be nice but uh here we go gotta keep things moving come on come on come on come on yes blue eco yes and uh here we go yeah Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! What? I'm out of Bleeco, damn it. Oh, no, 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 Okay, guys. We're powered up again, and we're going through the place, and there's a vent at the end of this place as well, so you want to rush to get those. If you can, jump back, but uh, let's see if you can get this one. And... No, bam! Whoa! I'm on top of the vent! Whoa! I ain't never been up here. Whoa, that was super high. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Okay, guys. Uh, now, here's the Yellow Sage. Here we go, guys. Let's talk to him. My redneck friend Billy. Who would have thought I'd live to see the day when I needed to be rescued by a boy and his muskrat? <sighs> I'm going to give Gall and Maya a little payback for this embarrassment. And we'll see about cooking up some muskrat stew. Okay guys, so we're gonna have some muskrat soup. I'll be right back. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So uh, there, he, there you go. He's doing a, a yellow Kamehameha with this gun. And uh, I never expected the yellow sage to be like that. I thought he was gonna be a genius or something. But him and the blue sage kind of had it like in a role reversal. And let's jump over here. Let's see what we got over here. Um, wait, this is his path. Whoa, what am I doing? Yeah, him and the yellow sage. I always wanted to wonder what like the yellow sage's uh, village looked like. I don't know if this was his castle while I died. Uh, I don't know if this was like his area or something. If he was living in complete solitude, but each village needs a sage to watch over them. And uh, I guess this could be it. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have enough time to make a village for him because these villages had a lot of things in them, and you can see they are they're already running out of time in the red sages one when they had to. Add the, those two miners with the power cells and stuff just to scrap that whole area. But uh, here we go, guys. Now, uh, I think that's the Red Sage's path right there with those spinning platforms. Let's get over there. I hope I can make it. And uh, it really looks like an oracle. These uh, precursor artifacts all become an oracle, and that's really cool. Set over here. Wait, come on, come on, come on. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? Okay, okay, gotta calm down. What am I doing? Oh my goodness! Okay, guys. I made it back, and we're progressing onwards to victory. <laughs> um, but, uh, with the way I scheduled this Let's Play, uh, I think the finale should be out on a Friday, giving me time to record Jack 2 over the weekend, um, and doing a lot of editing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing in that one, a lot more than you've seen in this one, but, uh, showing you guys where all the precursor worms are is gonna be a lot of work and i don't want you guys to mess up so i gotta keep it noob friendly <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding but yeah i'm doing a lot of interfaces and let's head over here and get all these precursor orbs um let's jump to this one here we go whoa 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 oh shit whoa whoa huh did you guys see that i think i'm gonna slow that thing down again we have to see that again in slow motion <laughs> Alright, that was freaking sick. I don't know what happened there. It reminded me parts of like light jack slowing down the place. It was really cool. Really nice reflexes right there. So what we want to do is uh, come over here and attack of the bunnies part two. You're going to have to destroy those two metal boxes first to get those precursors. But uh, you know how it goes whenever you have yellow eco and a bunch of monsters charge at you. Not well at all. So we have to rush to that ready eco and uh, we have to go buck wild on these guys. So try to blast your way through. Just get the precursor box open. And uh, let's move this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get owned. The bunnies are teabagging me, and there's an unlimited spawn until you come back here and just 
destroy these three lanterns. So we'll rush back here, punch each one of them, and uh, there we go, guys. But you have to kill each bunny to open this door. Let's see. I I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, you have to kill each bunny. So uh, let's let's karate kick each one of these. I'm the karate kid, guys. I'm gonna kick your ass. Here we go. And uh, here we go. Oh, what? Oh, man, I thought the red sage was behind this door. Uh, that was a bit of a letdown. Okay, we have to jump across a few more platforms. Here we go. And uh, there we are, red sage. Now, let's talk to this guy. It's a bit scary how he laughs, but don't worry, guys. He's a good guy. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> you finally come to rescue you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? And, uh, <laughs> what are your names? I'm Daxter. He's Kevin. He's with me. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. You've got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. I'll use my eco power to help open the shield door. Okay, now that we freed the uh, the Red Sage, those platforms were up here. Oh, we're up here. We're up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, uh, this is the spot where you couldn't get those precursor orbs earlier, and uh, now you can finally get them. It launches a bridge that you can't get back to. So uh, you want to head over here while that Red Sage is doing a KO Ken times 10 Kamehameha on the portal. So we're going to head over here, jump across each one of these platforms up, but uh, wait. Yep, 20 precursor orbs left. That's all you should have left. And then there's only two uh, power cells that we didn't get, and it's the Sage and the Flies. So uh, we're gonna head up these platforms, and this is the only way to reach the Green Sage, unless you cheated or something. I don't know. But uh, here we go. And this is actually a really quick one. I mean, it's really cool too. I like the way they had designed this one. Really nice architecture in this place. And come on, come on. Yep. Here we go. Look at this, this is just a masterpiece. Look at this, it's like a giant mut mutant creation? I don't know. It just looks so cool, look at the polish. I, maybe that's why spider Cave was so shitty, they put all their effort here. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. You're gonna have to jump across each one of these platforms and head up here. And if you guys had seen the, the Let's Play I did on this on my old channel, I don't know how Jack 2 is gonna go out, guys. I really don't know. I plan this let's play like thoroughly because I did this let's play on my channel a year ago and if you guys look back at my old channel you guys could see just one video and see how much I've improved in my commentary in my quality um, always looking for feedback guys and look at this the last scout fly now there's a lot of precursor orbs scattered throughout here so I think we're gonna head a little bit backwards though we don't ruin anything and uh, yeah I did oh 100 power cells oh my goodness uh, we didn't glitch or anything, so we're pretty much good. We don't lose a, pre a power cell for that. And uh, I think this is the path we have to go. Here we go. Uh, oh, I don't want to break this. I don't. Let me grab this. I don't want to break this just yet. Let's get these uh, final power um, precursor orbs, guys. <laughs> Tearing up here. Can't believe this is the end of the precursor orb hunt. Here we go, guys. Three more. Two. Three. Bam. 2,000 out of 2,000 precursor orbs, guys. It's been great searching for these things, but it's time has finally come to an end. And uh, there you go, gold trophy, really nice. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna destroy this lantern. Here we go, guys. Everything will be revealed. Good work, boys. You're real heroes now. I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, right. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world! Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Dexter! You're too late, Samos! Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have a key to creation itself! This is madness! Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know! 
Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack! Take the elevator up and stop that robot! Alright guys, I think that's it for this episode. So make sure you come back next time when we head up this elevator of doom. I love this elevator as well, it's really huge. But uh, I think we're going to finally head up this elevator for the final fight. So make sure you stay tuned for the finale of the Jack and Daxter HD collection. I'll see you guys then. Peace. Peace.